Hey, Dr. Roos here. Uh, just thought I'd make this video for the class lecture portion of the Bio 2 for 2024. Uh, I just um, got another dog. I got a dog rather, and uh, she may be interrupting us. Uh, I might be able to edit it out, but we'll see uh, how that goes. Anyway, uh, so I want to go over some things. Um, there's a lab video. You should be sure to watch that if you haven't. Uh, they're both posted on my website. Not all the lecture videos that I've made are on this website or, you know, they're unlisted. So unless you have the link, you can't get, you won't see them. But things like these welcome videos are, uh, they're, they're public. So, right, you don't need the link to view them. Uh, anyway, so anyway, if you want, I just want you to be aware that I do have a YouTube channel where my videos are posted or found. Um, this is the lab, or at least one of the lab sections, websites. There's a 52 and there's a 51, two sections of lab. Emily is going to teach that. So if you have questions about your grade or how she, she grades stuff. So um, if you missed the deadline, she doesn't have makeups, right? So uh, there's not a lot I can do about that. Okay, so just keep that in mind, but, you know, go post your questions about the lab to her. Um, and this is the class website, and this is the video from last year, but I'll, I'll have this year's video here under start here. There's a start here video for the lab. I made this one already, and this is Emily, but uh, so watch that video if you haven't. Um, and I have some... Uh, that's the schedule, uh, right here is my, this is what I want to kind of cover, right? First of all, there's no textbook for the class, um, and there's no lab manual for the lab, right? She made PDFs, right? I've got PowerPoints. I want to make it clear, if you're doing a quiz or an exam, for class or lecture, then use my PowerPoints. If you're doing a quiz or studying for the practical or taking the practical, use the lab PDF files to study for that, right? You don't want to mix them up, right? So be sure you keep that straight, right? If you go in the content section, and this is the lab content section. Uh, I've got the lab schedule now up there. Right, like say there's a lab two is about bacteria. There's a PDF file containing information about you need to know about bacteria when you take the quiz, right, the first quiz or the first practical, right? Evidence of evolution. There's a PDF document found there, right? You use that to study. There's no lab manual, okay? So I want to make that clear. Whereas in, in the class, right, uh, I don't use a textbook. I have most of the figures in my uh, PowerPoints are from the textbook that you probably used for uh, Bio 1, right? Uh, but it's not necessary for my class. Okay. This is fully online, both the lab and the lecture, right? And then you need to buy a subscription to connect in order to complete the virtual labs that need to be done for the lab. Right? There's no connect component to the class, right? There's no, nothing you need to purchase. You can earn a thousand points, a 300 of the thousand you'll earn in the lab, right? So if you went to the lab grade book <clears throat> under grades, right? There's a list of quiz one, quiz two, practical one, uh, quiz three, quiz four, practical two, right? And then these are all of the <clears throat> all the virtual labs like there's actually three virtual labs you watch for lab one so then the amount of virtual labs you do to earn the five points for each one of the there's 12 total labs so it, it might not it might be different right but as long as you complete those virtual labs by the deadline then you earn five points right and then all the lab points come to 300 so when you're done with practical two and she's graded it and I will add in the grade book what you've earned for total lab points out of the 300. 
So I'll use those lab points, right, by adding them to how many points you've earned in the, in, in the class to determine your grade. <clears throat> so I just want you to be aware, right, in order to pass the class, you need to uh, complete the lab. <clears throat> and uh, part of the lab is to connect virtual labs, right, that you do online. Um, if you have questions about anything to do with your computer, you need to contact the online help desk. And uh, what I did was I put up here Falcon Online Guide Info. This is the support you get, you know, for computer problems. I'm not an IT guy, right? If you have problems with Connect, then you would contact the Connect help desk, right? And we put that under Connect questions or support, right? Just click on this. That takes you to a web page. There's a phone number you can call. Um, you can use this link to get to the virtual lab. So each lab has their own spot for completing the virtual labs, right? If you clicked on that and you don't have a connect access code, then you can't complete your virtual labs, all right? So you should purchase that, if you haven't, purchase that right away, you know, get that done, right? Because your first assignments, I think, are due February 1st in the lab, and there are no makeups in the lab, right? I do have, like, a makeup policy, you know, for me. Uh, if you... Uh, if you missed, what I normally do is, I, if you say you missed an exam, right, there's going to be five. Uh, I might wait until you've taken the next exam on time before I let you take the one you missed. If you miss more than two, right, if you're more than one, rather, then you get a zero for the second missed exam. So be sure you complete everything on time. And what I'll do is I'll have weekly announcements, kind of like Emily does for the lab. Right? As long as you follow those weekly announcements and you read them, they'll contain everything you need to do for that week. You know, so each week it'll say, you know, watch a video. That video will cover a PowerPoint. Uh, and then you know you might take a quiz after you do that if you'd like so i'll i'll list the quizzes in the announcements right if you have a there if you just go to the quiz section they're all listed uh and that they're available like the first quiz is available january 18th right and you have until february 11th to complete those quizzes right the first four quizzes and then exam one that covers all these chapters so quiz one covers chapter 19 in parentheses is the chapter. Right, quiz two for chapter 27, 21, 22. So those four chapters are on exam one. They, they're due on February the 11th. And there'll be an announcement about exam one being due February 11th. So, you know, as long as you're, you know, going online every week, you shouldn't have any trouble uh, keeping up with what I do, right? There'll be assignments as well. So, okay, so this is the grade book. Uh, as I was saying, the, you have a total of 17 quizzes, and then there's one quiz that's a, like a bonus quiz. So it's worth 10 points like the others. It's on chapter 33. Uh, so it's not included, it's bonus. It's above the thousand points that you can earn for lab and lecture. And then there's five exams worth 100 points. There's three assignments. All right, you get 10 points for each assignment. Uh, there's directions on what to do for the flyer. Uh, it's similar to what you did if you had me for Bio 1. The fungus and the speciation are watching a video and then answering questions about the video, right? So there'll be an announcement uh, and it'll say, you know, you'll be able to, all my announcements have links to the quizzes or to the exams or to the assignments and even to the PowerPoints or the videos, right? You just click on it and then take you right to the YouTube video to watch as it, you cover, say, the PowerPoint, right? There might, I think I even have a video on Flyer. I'm not sure. I think there's a, in the Flyer assignment folder, if you go to assignments, they're all listed. And then I think I put in there Let's see, uh, flyer instructions, and then there's a uh, an example 
there as well, right? So if you're not sure, right? But it, it's, it says 30 points. I have to change that. It'll be worth 10 points this semester. So um, anyway, no, but anyway, that's where, and these used to be bonus points. So I'll have to change this to, they're no longer, they're just assignments this semester. So I'll make that change. Uh, anyway, so this is the the schedule, all right, uh, for the semester. So there's week one, week two listed here, and right approximate dates for them. You know, uh, you know, exam one. It, this tells you what exam one covers. You know, these chapters are going to be on exam two. And then exam three, there's just four, these four chapters, right? Um, the, this chapter here, chapter 33, is a bonus quiz. It's considered bonus points for completing that one. Whereas all the other quizzes are 10 points that are included in the thousand. Right, exam four, and then exam five is uh, it's going to be an abbreviated exam, more or less. Uh, it won't be like the other four exams. Uh, so the, the, I think there's questions that are worth three points on it, but it, because it only covers two chapters, or three chapters rather, and uh, <clears throat> so like you'll have a week to do this, or so you'll be able to complete all of this exam four and exam five before May if you'd like uh, so but you'll have until May 5th to complete all the coursework okay so anywho I think that about wraps it up for the video I covered all the things important points I wanted to cover um, and you know as long as you watch the the uh, the videos that I've made, you should be fine. You know, you'll get a feel for it. How I, if you've had me for bio one, you know, this will probably be a breeze. You kind of know how, you know, how I ask questions. And, uh, <clears throat> but, um, so just be sure each week, there'll be a week one. I'll get that straightened out. There'll, there'll be a week one uh, posted here. Uh, and then, you know, that's what you need to do for that week. The, you also, I need to verify your attendance. So be sure, in order to do the, to verify your attendance, I, you need to complete the syllabus quiz. That's all that's for, right? And, and there's just like 10 questions or so. I don't know how many there are. There are different ones. Like there's seven questions. They're all true. You're not going to get graded on this, but I just want you to be aware of certain things about the, the class to make sure you're uh, expected to read weekly announcements, for instance, or I need to purchase McGraw-Hill Connect to complete virtual labs, All right? So it's this sort of a make sure you, uh, you're you aware of these things. And it also allows me to um, uh, verify that you've attended, right? I need an assignment like this because just you logging on to the class is not considered <clears throat> verification of your attendance. So uh, be sure you do this. I have to have that in by the 24th. So if you don't complete this, then you could be dropped from the course for non-attendance. It, it only have, I think, if you have financial aid, if you paid for it with your own money, then you know that, that doesn't apply to those students. So I just want you to be aware of that. I'll, I'll have an announcement about this too. So. Okay, so you can take it twice. I don't think you need to, but the other, you know, the other online quizzes, you do, you do have two attempts on them. Okay, uh, you can uh, <clears throat> any of these the exams, you get one attempt, but you can take these, all these quizzes twice, and the highest attempt counts. Okay, so that's nice to know. So anyway, hope you do well. And uh, the other thing is I'll, I'll probably be uh, making what an audio feedback on maybe a quiz or an exam to kind of give you some, uh, in, you know, some interaction. Uh, so I'll, I'll post a 
when I do that, I'll post an announcement saying, listen to this audio file. To listen to that file, you need to go to that quiz or exam that I'm giving you the feedback on and then just click on the feedback button or whatever. I can't remember exactly what you see. And uh, <clears throat> and then you can listen to the... You used to have to download the audio file, but I think now it'll play if you just click on it. Um, if you have any issues with stuff like that, call the online help desk, right? They're the ones... I, you know, if you can't upload, download, or you can't read things, you have issues with, uh, I don't even YouTube. I don't, I've never had anybody have a problem watching a YouTube video. Okay, but uh, be sure you contact them. Be sure, you know, like your browser needs to be up to date. Maybe, maybe you're not using a browser that supports uh, our learning management system, right? This is a, it's a desire to learn is the name of this. Right, it's the company that we use that you know provides us with being able to make these websites. Uh, so um, to keep that in mind, and like I said, if you have connect issues, right in the lab, then there are the Garage Hill Virtual Lab Connect. This is this is an act. This will take you, you know, to the website, and then this is their website for their support. This is the online help the Falcon online number that I have on my so you know use those numbers if you need to. And then then the ASC is available too. Okay, and I think they have like this little chat down here. If you click on that, then you'll have a Falcon Online 2 virtual assistant. So they can help if you that or just contact them with you know using their phone number. I don't know exactly what their phone number is, but it would be hard to find on our website. <clears throat> so anyway, I think that about does it. Good luck.